Hello and welcome to Inside Solent, our monthly look at the university's latest news, projects and events. I'm multimedia journalism student Josh Stokes. And I'm MA broadcast journalism student Li Jiaxu and will be your host this month. Coming up in this program. We catch up with successful YouTuber and Solon alum, Gary Merritt. We head to London to see our students' designs on the catwalk of Graduate Fashion Week. And we join renowned chef Jem Stanner in the Solon Nutrition Kitchens. But first, we're delighted to announce that Dragon's Den star and business entrepreneur Theo Pafitis will be joining the Solon family as the university's new chancellor. Theo is no stranger to Solon and has supported the university for a number of years. He was awarded an honorary doctorate in business back in 2010 and went on to support our students with entrepreneurial advice through his regular visits to the university. We hope you all join us in welcoming him at his inauguration this October. The positive news continues with the recent release of the 2019 Guardian League table results. We are delighted to share that Solon has climbed a whopping 22 spots this year. The table ranks universities based on a number of factors, including spending per student, student stop ratio, and graduation employment. And a congratulations is in order for Noah McWatters for making waves at this year's model yacht race. Noah took home first place at the annual event that began more than 40 years ago as a bit of end of term fun. 27 of our first year yacht engineering students set their models afloat at Gosport Boating Lake. The race now forms part of the first year unit assessment for students on Solent Yacht and Powercraft Design and Yacht Design and Production degree courses. Now it's no secret that we love to hear what our students are getting up to after graduating from Solent. We recently caught up with TV and video production alum Gary Merritt to hear about his journey to becoming a successful YouTuber. Hi, I'm Gary Merritt. Uh, I'm a YouTuber known as Gizzy Gaza and I studied at Southampton Solent University. I studied television and video production. I wanted to learn more about studying film and media and TV. I really like creating shows at the time. I decided to choose Southampton Solent because it was really like a creative university that really stood out, I guess, because it had a lot of like features that would help me in the film world and the TV world. The things I enjoyed the most at this university was definitely the friends that I've made, uh, learning some new life skills, like living away from home, like I'd never done that before, uh, coming to learn more stuff about a subject that I was really interested in. So I was doing YouTube when I was in university. I was watching a lot of YouTubers at the time who um, was just doing it and it looked really fun. And I was like, I want to do something like that too. Like I was inspired by other YouTubers doing it. And that's how really YouTube works. It's like YouTubers inspired other YouTubers. And so I wanted to learn more about creating YouTube videos, but I was already studying it here anyway, so it was nice to take what I'm learning and put into the YouTube stuff. Like I didn't really tell too many people, and I tried to make sure that it wasn't really affecting my grades too much. So I'd always put university first, and then YouTube. Um, and it was like this side job, I wasn't getting a lot of money from it. But during like my final year in university, it started to pick up, and then by the time I finished university, I was able to live off YouTube full time. So I said to myself, okay, I'm gonna give this a shot. I'm going to do YouTube for a living after university. So I did it for a couple of years and I ended up going viral. Um, I was doing really well. And I got an opportunity to move to America to be with other creators to create stuff in real life. Uh, other opportunities to work with Warner Brothers. And then I decided like I wanted to write books and I wanted to pursue that further. I wanted to create my own shows again and it was, it was pretty cool. If you're thinking of attending Solent University, remember that there's so many different opportunities that happen here and if you put yourself into the correct mindset, the, the correct like perseverance, you can really make yourself something out of it because I took advantage of Solent and I got to where I am now. So I hope my success shows that it's possible for anyone. We now go from web stars to maritime ministers as we look back at MP Nusrat Ghani's recent visit to our St Mary's campus. The minister spent the afternoon with our cadets to discuss the future of maritime training. So it was great to meet the minister today. Um, we spoke about the future of cadet training here at Warsash Maritime Academy in Southampton. And it's really encouraging that she's um, putting her full support behind cadet training, especially as we leave the European Union. Uh, well, the government's continued support of smart funding is really important as it uh, secures um, high quality training of officer cadets, uh, not only here in Southampton, but right across the UK, uh, now and into the future. The influence of British seafarers around the world is really important, especially as the shipping industry provides 99% of everything that comes to the UK. 
Our exciting visits continued this month with a celebrity cooking class taught by successful chef James Stanner. James joined our Applied Human Nutrition students to discuss the importance of healthy cooking. Hi there, my name's James Tano. It's an absolute pleasure to be here today at Southampton Solent University. Um, from my point of view, I'm still doing my chef wife because I am a chef and I've cooked for 20 years now. So healthy eating is massively important in everyday diet. Today I'm with the students from a nutrition degree course and um, it's been a great interesting day. We've covered lots of different things. When I say things, it's a bit more in depth than that. Salt levels, uh, sugar, oil, fats in food and um, too much sugar, too much fats, too much of uh, the wrong fats as well and salt in diet, hey it's not rocket science, it's not good for a healthy long life. So a course like this at Solent University of um, Applied Human Nutrition is massive, massively important. First of all it's AFN accredited, having accredited nutritionists in industry just generally is exceptionally important and that to be recognised by this university I just think it's really really great that this is being embraced um, it's fantastic that I've been asked to come here for the day meet some great people some really keen students as well everyone seems to really be so so interested and care cooking is a life skill and it depends what you put in that pan or onto that plate. Now, your choices have got to be the right choices for a healthy, balanced um, diet. And uh, courses like this that cover all aspects of that, I think is wonderful. We now go over to Vice Chancellor, Professor Graham Baldwin, to get the latest sector updates and university news. Well, firstly, I'm delighted to say that we've been awarded a silver rating in this year's Teaching Excellence Framework. This is fantastic news and uh, is recognition of the really good uh, high quality learning and teaching that takes place here at the university. It's as always a really busy time at the university as we come towards the end of the academic year. One of the highlights is the end of year degree shows which we're looking forward to very much give the opportunity for students to showcase their work not only internally but also externally. Well I'm also really pleased to announce that after extensive consultation we're about to roll out our real world curriculum framework this is, provides really exciting opportunities for staff and students into the future. And now for some of the exciting events planned for June. On the 8th of June, we're excited to kick off our 2018 summer shows, showcasing the incredible work produced by students from our School of Art, Design and Fashion. On Tuesday the 19th of June, we'll be welcoming guests to our second annual Retention Achievement Conference to discuss the factors that have the most influence on student success. And on the evening of the 19th of June, Professor Nick Potts will draw on 27 years of teaching experience to host Changing Economics Before It's Too Late, a talk to discuss a range of economic ideas focusing on mainstream Keynesian and Marxist ideas. And finally, on the 28th of June, the Spark will play host to evaluation of sport, leisure and well-being, the power of knowledge exchange. This is the second lecture in a two-part series to investigate what the academic field sees as best practice and whether this can be translated into industry work. More information on these and other events in June can be found at www.solon.ac.uk forward slash events. And now it's time for our latest sporting news. To start out, a big congratulations is in order for Nathan Blackie, who took home silver at the Bucks Outdoor 100 metre wheelchair race. And we'd like to send out another congrats to the winners at this year's sports awards. Our team Solon athletes came together to celebrate a year of sporting success with awards such as Rising Star and Newcomer of the Year. And we also had reason to celebrate at this year's varsity event against Bournemouth Uni. Team Solon took home some wings on the day, including women's and men's basketball and women's cricket and futsal. Unfortunately, Bournemouth were the overall winners for the day, but Team Solon are looking forward to a rematch next year. And finally, for the first time ever, our students' designs took to the catwalk at Graduate Fashion Week. We travelled up to London for a glimpse of the day.
Well, that's all we have for you this month. Goodbye and thank you for watching.